Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. Um, so last time out we met up with uh, Akechi and he, we finally found out what he wanted um, us to do for him. Uh, he wanted us to head into uh, Sai Nijima's um, palace and stop basically stop her from uh, you know doing uh, you know <laughs> fuck brain um from stuff you know from putting um, innocent people in prison and just to get a result on the uh, phantom thieves thing uh so yeah that's what we want that's what she that's what we're going to be doing next we're going to be heading into uh, size palace in order to Ow. stop her once and for all. Um, and then first. after that, once we're done with that, we've uh, promised to catch you. We would break up. Else we want you to look into. Okay, so that's something else. So she wants us to look in. So uh, what's happening here? Morgana wants um, Futaba to look into um, a catchy and to Sai to see what's going on. Uh, uh, to Sai, sorry, to see what's going on there. She also wants to look wants her to look into something else, which we're not being told about yet because it would spoil plot. <laughs> so um, we'll find out more about what's going on with um, with uh, what f um, Morgana is asking for Tabitha to do much later on. Um, it's going to be a number of parts yet, so we've got to wait a little while before we find out what's going on with that. Okay. So yeah, everything just happens to be, or everything to do with the police happens to be around where Sai is, um, where Sai's palace is. Isn't that a, isn't that lucky? <laughs> so yeah, as Makoto says, this is quite literally going into the lion's den. So this um, is the courthouse. So this is going to be a tough one. We're heading to the courthouse. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Answer the cat, Akechi. <laughs> out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For real? Then that means so, yeah, that's why we've got our, our time limit. Our time limit is November the 20th. We need to get this done by November the 20th, because um, that's when they'll be doing a forced investigation into uh, Shujin Academy and also into um, the place where we're staying, the uh, the coffee shop. So, yeah, this isn't going to go well. So we've got to get this done before then. What about my smartphone? Oh. Grabbed it. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> so lucky. Yep, Futaba is a I'm bit so of a nerd, <laughs> as you can probably tell. <laughs> probably didn't need to be said. Really. Wow. Probably didn't need to be said really. Okay. But there you go. Um, this is. Oh, right. uh, it may be best if you Sorry. Uh, this is also something that. Not just me. You've got to, uh, which, you've got to remember what uh, this particular moment. This is an important thing. Doesn't seem like it at the moment, but we'll find out Thanks. what's so important about this little section later on. Well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. I doubt it, you mop-haired piece of shit. And uh, bond of the catch is growing deeper. And look at that! Just before we go into the look at that, <laughs> yeah. He gets all the relevant uh, attack options just before we enter the um, size palace, and he's going to be involved in, in combat with us. Isn't that a stroke of good fortune? Uh, so yeah, rank number six. Uh, he's like Morgana as well, like I've said before. Um, basically, his um, uh, social link goes along goes on along with um, uh, the story, so we don't have to do anything with that. Like that has changed stuff. actually in Persona 4, uh, sorry, Persona 5 Royal, um, where Although he's more of an active social link that you have to go out of your way to get. He's kind of irritating to get fully um, fully maxed out <laughs> uh, from what I remember of my playthrough, but there you go. She doesn't know? 
racetrack for horses. Other than that, there's pachinko. A racetrack for horses. <laughs> I get. I, I guess you could just say racetrack, though, couldn't you? What else is there? Makoto will get it. There we go. I definitely see Sai Son in you. So Akachi apparently didn't enter Sai's palace because otherwise he would have known what the um, what the um, what she sees it as. So, but now she know. But now we know that basically she sees uh, the courthouse as a casino, which kind of, kind of a, uh, is. Which makes sense considering that she kind of sees it as kind of a, a game, like a, you know, a thing where she sees it as low, it's kind of high risk, high reward kind of thing. That's it. And we actually have an anime cutscene. What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Uh oh. Right. Who made you, boss? <laughs> Time to go in. And so, yeah. And this was kind of a big moment for me when I first saw it. It was like, oh shit. So yeah, basically this is the um, casino we were in right at the beginning of the game. So this is pretty much... Um, uch, bleh. <laughs> Fucking hell. This is us catching up to the present day after um, everything else kind of being... In the past and being told Isn't by our main character. The police station, yes. The police I station? Know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Uh, this is also something which comes up later on uh, and is rather relevant. Uh, the fact that the police station is part of the um, is part of the uh, cognitive world next to pal um, the casino, which is um, Sai's palace. Um, and the fact that it doesn't look really all that different from the real world counterpart that does come into play later on. How we'll see much we'll see in uh, a, a bit. <laughs> it's gonna be a while yet. I don't want to go in a station. That reminds me, he'll need a code name too. Code name? Okay, so now we need to work out Akechi's code name. His code name. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with me today? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Okay. Oh, it's nothing. Then perhaps. I like that. That's kind of awesome. Like a raven. Ann says that, she's like, oh. <laughs> what does Makoto say about her? She's kind of like, no, nothing, nothing. <laughs> I'll shut up. Good point. So yeah, that's going to be our... Um, so Ketchy's code name is Crow. Uh, not the best name in the world, but whatever. I don't think I don't have particularly good, let's be honest. <laughs> now, then. Okay, so we need to find an infiltration route first, so let's get going. I and I stood around for a little while there. I have something. Uh, basically, we just need to go up to the right um, here, up the steps. Um, this one's actually really easy to find the entrance to. <laughs> we just jump across. I do actually really love the music for this the for this uh, dungeon as well. It's so fucking catchy, okay. and it's a door. Wow, yeah, it's probably the easiest entrance of, out of all of the um, uh, palaces. Just a side door on the roof, oh. and now we're all dressed up. Isn't it rather fortunate that uh, Catchy, his nickname is Crow, and he's got like a giant beak <laughs> on his mask? Hmm. I have to say, I do really like a Catchy's. Um, uh, Phantom Thief design. I do really like his costume. I think it looks really good. Um, it's kind of a uh, just kind of set him up. It, it's kind of different from everybody else. Like everybody else kind of blends together quite well, and his is kind of standoutish and very like flashy and over the top, which kind of makes, which I think makes a lot of sense for 
um, him as a character. So I actually kind of like that. But yeah, this is something else to take into account. That basically, um, the majority of the people um, that are in um, Psy's uh, palace wandering around, are, the cognitions are relatively un undistorted. Like they look like they're real people. Um, a lot more than we have seen in other palaces. Um, so it's kind of an interesting uh, thing to note with her mental state that she's distorted obviously like her mind is distorted a bit but it's not completely 100% <laughs> gone like everybody else's has been so far yeah shut up Akechi come on let's go stupid Akechi so it's time for us to go and Makoto's a little bit on edge as you can <laughs> as you can tell which you know is her sister so you can understand that yeah, and this first section I always really liked. Um, a lot of jumping among the roofs. This is the first one. Uh, this is the one that I feel is the most kind of. Um, oh, look at that! That's horrible. Um, <laughs> sorry. This is the one where it's kind of a uh, very like a, a like a movie kind of like a, you know criminals investigating a. Um, breaking into a casino feels very kind of old school movie to me which I really like and I apologize for the uh, for the video screwing up a little bit <laughs> that's not good uh oh okay and we finally get to meet Shadow Sai um, for the first time And once again, I, I'll say this now, I really like her um, shadow design. It's really cool. It's definitely a great design. It's kind of very... Um, she definitely gives off um, <clears throat> a dark and menacing kind of serious vibe, while also being very kind of... Um, kind of, um, what's the word? Glamorous. Um like fitting into the casino um, setting really well as well so I kind of like that um, and this dungeon is probably the most e it's the one of the more complicated and also one of the simplest <laughs> I mean on a base level you just have to get we just have to reach the very top floor so it's pretty easy pretty uncomplex but <laughs> The problem is, is that it's locked up, and we have to kind of uh, go up. Um. I think three floors, and there's um, basically there's a ground floor, middle floor, and floor after that before we reach the very top. Do you have a um, and so with um, the we have to go in, and we have to, and we're given like a task on each floor. Um, the first one, I think, is like we have to get like a certain amount of money to pay for a card to move on to the next um, floor. Um, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, and what we need to do first is we need to um, register. Um, so we need to get a card in order to get up to the very first floor. Which means it's time for a fight. <laughs> I have high expectations. Yes. Wow, you're an arrogant prick. And this is the first time we get to see a catchy's persona. Which I absolutely love. It's such a a cool design. Um, like him, very extravagant and over the top. Don't worry. You can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood! So yeah, he's is a is a is Robin Hood, which is another obviously um, fight uh, another righteous thief. Oh shit, that didn't work. <laughs> um, so anyway, basically, uh, Akechi's uh, persona uh, uh, is his main elements of attack are dark and light, but he also has 
Megadolin, Megadolin, which is a really, really powerful um, um, physical attack as well. Megadola, that was it. Like, it causes so much fucking damage. Uses up a lot of um, SP, but it's ridiculously strong. Um, you got it. He also, with his physical attacks, he also hits really hard. He's, uh, he's actually a really good um, um, right. fighter to have. Uh, and he's a lot, of, you know, he's, his quips are also kind of awesome. So, you know, he's a lot of fun to use, uh, Catchy. Uh, and he, you know, he's really, he's just really powerful. He has a lot of, he causes a lot of damage. Uh, and he has uh, elements that, um, at least for me, I didn't really have my first playthrough. Um, with light and dark, I didn't have a lot of those options, especially the the higher tiers. So he's pretty useful. I really like having him. He's a you know he's a, he's a good addition, I think, to uh, the team for this dungeon. So, yep, of course. So yeah, so the next time we enter the palace, basically we have to do this, there's three times we have to go in. The first time we have to go in is, uh, we go into this initial time. Um, uh, then after that we have to go in and get up to the third floor. Uh, and then we're kind of blocked off and then we have to do something to change size cognition in order to let us um, finish off the palace and go through to the final um, final floor. But anyway, that's going to be it for this part of Persona 5. Join me next time. Um, we're not going to be going back into size palace immediately. We're going to be doing a lot of social link stuff and a lot of side um, stuff. We're also going to be preparing for, because um, pretty soon we'll be able to go back into mementos and do the... Um, and we've got a lot of uh, uh, mementos quests that we need to finish off. So join me next time for the next part of Persona 5 for more um, social link stuff and also um, setting up for mementos. <sighs> See you next time.